Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're doing a little video today that talks about calculator use, all right? The calculators that are scientific and graphing calculators uh, require you to understand a few special keystrokes to make them work properly. So I thought we should go over and look at them. So the first thing is let's kind of define the problem that we want to do. I want to do 5.00 times 10 to the third multiplied by 3.0 times 10 to the fifth. Now, just doing this kind of old school, the 3 times the 5 is 15, 10 to the third times 10 to the fifth is 10 to the eighth. Now, I know that's not proper scientific notation. This has to move over 1, so I get 1.5 times 10 to the ninth. Now let's talk about different ways of actually doing that with a calculator. So typical graphing calculator. What you're going to enter in here is 5.00 and you are not, I repeat, not going to type times 10 raised to something. You're going to go second EE. -E. And then you're going to put in the third. Then we'll multiply that by 3.0, second EE raised to the fifth. Now, the calculator knows scientific notation. When you say the EE button, second EE on the graphing calculator, it understands that you mean times 10 to that number. You hit enter. And there you go, it gives you that answer. It's just not in scientific notation. We can count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spaces, and that's 1.5 times 10 to the ninth. In the event that one of those was a negative exponent, 5.00 second EE, and then down here at the very bottom, you use the negative sign and say make it negative fifth. Okay, that's how you put it in when you're using a graphing calculator. Now, I know a lot of you are not necessarily going to have graphing calculators. Don't worry about them. Let's talk about using a phone. I'm going to choose the calculator function, and I have a basic four-function calculator here. However, if I turn this sideways, what happens is it becomes a scientific calculator. Okay, and I could do this same problem, 5.00 EE to the third multiplied by 3.0 EE to the fifth equals, and there you go, 1.5 times 10 to the ninth. Okay, it understands scientific notation also. Now, this model of TI, which is the 30XS, is one of the most peculiar of TI's calculators for understanding how to put things in. So I wanted to put this calculator specifically into the video so you would understand. To do the 5.00 times 10 to the third, we go 5.00, then it has a button times 10 to the n, I push that, then I'll push the third. But then I have to use this control up here and put a space in before I put multiplied by 3.0 times 10 to the fifth and put a space out there, hit enter, and get the answer. Now, typically, I'm more comfortable with this calculator doing it just a little bit differently. Clear that out. Open parentheses, 5.00 times 10 to the third, space, close parentheses, multiplied by open parentheses, 3.0 times 10 to the fifth, space, close parentheses, enter, and get that. I think that's a better way to do it, okay? On the TI-30XS, if you're using one of those, please make sure that you use parentheses like that and this space button after any function to give it 
it's just it's weird it just it wants that extra space in there okay so that's just a little bit for you about calculator use okay if you have questions about your specific model feel free to come in and ask the button for the TIs is EE for a lot of other calculators the button is EXP but never use 10 to the X that has another meaning so we will not be using that one. Okay, thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.